Also, the divas are still in hell thanks to Tia. Hope she don't hear me, but she can be a bitch sometimes. <laughs> Yes, tonight is Cynthia Stone. Hey. Hello. Okay, Cynthia. I just got a few questions to ask you. First things first. What are your goals in Fearless Revolution and Raw? We can see. My goals on Raw and Fierce Revolution is to become the top diva of all time. Now I know many have seen little story played out with me and mm, I ain't gonna say her name. Yes, she told the truth of everything, but hey, it is what it is. But my goals is to be the best there is and i want to show everybody what i got and what i can give to this whole division oh okay so what's your mindset on your way to this championship match starting tomorrow my mindset is to definitely take out that girl and to defeat every single woman and become the divas champion my mindset is to show everyone like i said that i am the baddest person on raw and they're gonna see it Okay, so, win or lose, what would be your next step on Raw? <laughs> if I lose, um, see, this is a hard question because I don't see myself losing, but if I lose, I do want to take some time off and, you know, get back in the gym a little bit more than usual it's hard to do that when you know i'm on the show every week but get back in the gym and you know become better get back to the performance center work on some new skills and everything but, you know but if i win which i will i won't suggest you know even though people hate me now but i just want to show everybody that no matter what you think of me, I'm the champion and ain't nobody gonna take that away from me. So they can stay their ugly asses home and mind their freaking business. Okay, are you worried about anyone in the match? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. Thank you. Oh! Oh, she rude. She just let me off. No. <laughs> I take this person. Okay, we have Chloe. How you doing, girl? So Chloe, same thing as the person those furs. Uh, what are your goals? And raw, okay, and raw. You know, <laughs> I came to raw to make a brand for myself, to build myself up, to do something I couldn't do previously on NXT. <laughs> you see, I came to the land of opportunity, which is raw, of course, to make a name for myself and let these other hags know what I'm about. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, what's your mindset on your way to the championship match tomorrow? You know, 
Erica, that's a really good question. Being the bad bitch I am, I don't reveal my secrets. But just so you know, I'm ready and capable of winning this title. You have girls feuding and whatnot, but there's me. I have no one to worry about but pinning the last girl to win that title. Just know I didn't come to play. I came to win that title. Hmm, I see. So, how about this? Win or lose, what would be your next step on Raw? Are you being serious, Erica? I'm definitely going to win this match. But let's just say the odds aren't in my favor. I'm still going to claw my way to the top and get another opportunity for the Divas Championship. Oh, girl, you don't have to be rude with me, okay? <laughs> Anyways, last question. Are you worried about anyone in that match? <laughs> <laughs> no, silly. I'm not worried about anyone. Anyone who's facing me should be worrying, as a matter of fact. They might try and get under my skin, but, you know, that's not going to work. It's not going to stop me from a huge, huge opportunity, which is the Divas title. Okay, so, uh, thank you. <sighs> People so rude, ain't it? Anyway, our next guest is Soraya. So, Soraya, what are your goals? Oh, raw. My goals are simple. It's to take out Cynthia, show her that I'm not the one to mess with. Show the whole universe, the whole WWE Fearless universe, that she is a monster. She's the real monster here. I notice the fans are on her side, but they're on the wrong side. I dealt with my darkness, I dealt with my demons, and if you can see my change in my character, I have seen the light. And my goal is to show that, and to show the real me, and become the next Raw Divas Champion. Okay, so what are your mindsets on your way to the championship match tomorrow? My mindset on the way to the championship, honestly, I know that Cynthia is going to be in this match too. But I need to put my focus on every single woman in that ring, especially the champion, and especially Chloe, because Chloe is a tough competitor. I've seen her matches. I've been in the tag team match with her. And I've been studying her, so I need to really focus on everyone in that match. Even Cynthia, though. I want to put my, you know, my anger and aggression aside for her, so I don't get too distracted and I don't focus on her and not the main point of this match. It's not about her. When that time comes, it's about that championship. And I will redeem myself. I will redeem myself for losing so easily to Michelle McCool. It was a bad night. I had a lot on my mind. I was so focused on all the drama that I just I couldn't focus on the match. But once it comes, once that championship match comes, Trust and believe, I'll be walking out your new Raw Davis champion. <laughs> Win or lose, what will be your next step on Raw? Win or lose? <laughs> I'm not thinking about if I'm losing. I'm not. I'm gonna win. Reign over this roster. Show Cynthia that I'm better than her. Make her beg for a championship opportunity and then quickly. Just like that. Just like a gust of wind. <sighs> Blow it out of her zone. Now, I don't want to think about losing. But if I happen to lose, I don't know what's next. I'm either going to keep trying, keep building up the rankings, keep going up that line, 
tip for another Ra Davis Championship opportunity, you know, take my opportunities, make my own opportunities. But if there become if a tag team championship presents itself, I would not mind going after that. I want any type of gold that I can get. But I will win. I will win the championship. I know it. Um, are you worried about anyone in that match? Am I worried about anyone in the match? Are you really asking me that question after what I just told you? I'm not worried about anyone. Yes, I know Chloe is a tough competitor. I know that Michelle McCool is a fighting champion. And I know Cynthia has hatred towards me. But I'm not going to let her get in the way of this. I'm going to simply take her out, out of my way, so I can go for the champion. That's my main goal. If I want to pin anyone in this match, if I want to make it to the end, I want it to be me and Miss Jo McCool at the end of this match. And I want to beat her. Now, if it's me and Cynthia at the end, that would be iconic. That would be dramatic, to be honest. But I'm not worried about all these other girls. Chloe, I don't know her. I've seen her, I've faced her, but I don't know her. Everyone else doesn't matter to me either. I don't know them. I'm here for one thing only. To be the best. <laughs> oh, thank you for your time. Jesus. Why is everybody being rude to me? Do I know who I am? I'm Erica. Erica! Yeah! Anyways, our last guest for tonight. She just had a great match, so ladies and gentlemen, no further ado, please welcome your Divas Champion, Michelle Miku. So Michelle, um, you are the current Divas Champion. Yes, that is correct. So, tell me, Tia made this match, because I guess she took over somehow, I don't understand it, but... She took over and made this APAC challenge match for the Divas title. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, what can I say? Everybody wants to be the Divas champion. But hey, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> um, yes, I just had a great match. Because, hello, I'm still Divas champion. Duh. Red. But anyway. <laughs> This is gonna be a tough match for me. We got people like Nikki Bella, <laughs> a Bella wannabe. She is, even though she is a Bella. Get me if, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, then we have people like Bianca Belair. Like, come on now, what's she gonna do? Hit me with the worm? Uh, anyway, <laughs> then I think who else? <sighs> <sighs> we got Lay, Layla, um, you know, things happened between us in the past, but we say we cool, but not cool, but we still like cool, so hopefully somewhere in that time, you know, she'll see that we need to be together, but anyway, um, who else? E. Torres, the hosky of the round division, you know. <laughs> I'm not worried about her. I've been here plenty of times before. So, yeah. Oh, um, we have Cynthia Storm. Mm, I don't see any much threat for her. Then we have Chloe. Um, Chloe. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say to her either. She just, uh, Ronda Rousey wannabe. Uh, <laughs> I'm still flawless. Then we have Soraya. Ooh, child, I don't have much to say on her. You seen the match? Uh, I pinned her in what? Under, I want to say two minutes? Three? 
I don't know. That place is kind of forgettable because I'm like, yeah, you're done. Out my way. I have better things to do. But, anyway, like I said, I'm here to win and do whatever I can to be the top diva and heading to Survivor Series. Um, wait, is it Survivor Series? I don't know the paper room, but I know it's a brain versus brain. But anyway, come to the brain versus brain. I know that I will face Gail Kim and I will get that win for Raw. So, Erica, thank you for your time. But now I have to go work out and be flawless for tomorrow's show. So, toodles. <laughs> I remember, um, flawless. Well, okay. That was our time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.